The Vermont Republican Party is facing some questions now about whether they can publicly show support for former President Donald Trump after his recent criminal convictions. NBC5 Stephen Biddix joins us now live from the newsroom. And Stephen, you say the state party actually has a policy about this? Yes, they do, Jack. So the self-imposed party rule is publicly stated on the Vermont GOP's website. It says the party will not publicly promote or support a convicted felon, which now includes Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump. But Vermont's Republican National Committee representative says not so fast. It's a very unusual rule. Just over a week after former President Donald Trump was convicted on 34 felony counts in a New York courtroom, there's some confusion about a rule for the Vermont GOP party. Rule 16 for the party is called candidate rule, and it states in part the party will not support or promote a convicted felon. I think it would be wonderful if the Vermont Republican Party were intellectually consistent enough to actually not support convicted felon Donald Trump but we all know that they won't be. But the Republican National Committee representative for Vermont says there's an exemption the state party can use. There is room there uh, with the executive committee exemption. And I, I believe with the current executive committee makeup, there'll be no question that we will support the Republican candidate for president. The timeline for if that executive committee will meet is unclear, but in the meantime, there won't be any social media posting or public endorsing of Trump. The rule also won't have an impact on the national convention in July in Milwaukee. And that's reinforced by an earlier rule in the Vermont GOP rules, which is Rule 12, which confirms that the delegates are bound for whomever uh, the voters of Vermont selected in the primary. NBC5 reached out to neighboring states GOP parties like New York and New Hampshire who say they don't have similar rules, but back here in Vermont, while on opposite sides of the issue, both parties say this is an abnormal circumstance. I couldn't even tell you if this is if this is out of the ordinary for rules in uh, state party uh, bylaws. It's just very strange that the Republican Party is sticking by a guy who was convicted of 34 felonies. How it came about in Vermont, I'm not really sure, but a couple of years ago, we changed the rule to allow for us to have an exemption. So that puts us in line with most of the other states NBC5 did reach out to the Vermont GOP multiple times today on if they'll call for the executive committee vote, but did not hear back. Live in the newsroom, Stephen Biddix, NBC5 News.